What's up everybody, Roberto from Design Lab, and today we're gonna really quickly go over five tips and tricks that can really elevate your game and streamline your workflow when using the app. So the first thing I wanna cover is how to delete a layer from a project, and this could be an artwork layer, image layer, or text layer, and there's a few ways to do it, both are very simple. And the first one is to simply just drag your layer out of the project, and boom, it's gone, disappeared. That's the easiest way to delete it, but another way to do it is to open up the layer panel, and then tap the three dots to the right of the corresponding layer. It's gonna open up a menu and you got a big red delete button right there. Go ahead and tap that and that layer's disappeared. Second thing I wanna go over really quickly is how to reposition and reorganize layers. So I got two layers right here. I got a shape layer, the orange circle, and I got the word fall that I've typed out. And I wanna put the word fall on top of the circle, but when I do so, it's going behind it. And the reason it's doing this is because the organization of the layers is incorrect. So all I have to do is open up the layer panel, long tap on the fall layer, and just drag it on top of the shape layer. I've reorganized the positioning of them, and now I've got the graphic that I want. So far, so good, right? Told you these were quick and easy. The third thing that I want to cover is how to use the eyedropper tool to get the precise color that you're looking for. So... Check out this design I've got here. Just made it uh, to promote a fall festival, a hypothetical fall festival. And by the way, you can download this design in our uh, templates that we have available in the app. So notice at the bottom it says Maple Park, the location of the, of the event. And I want to change the color of Maple Park to match the pumpkin. I can either come into this tool here and just try to like eye it. Or another thing I can do is use the eyedropper tool, which is at the bottom right here of the picker, uh, it looks like a crosshair icon, and I activate that, it turns blue. And now I can just tap on the pumpkin, you can't see me doing this, but I'm tapping on different regions of the pumpkins, and I'm extracting the color from it using this eyedropper tool. So that's a really cool way to get the exact color that you're looking for. And the last two tips, really simple, but they might be very useful to you. One is how to turn, toggle on the, uh, the snap to grid. So you'll notice in, in Design Lab when you're moving the words around, like if I want to position this in the center, the app is actually trying to assist you in snapping it uh, into the center of the grid. But sometimes, as, you know, you might want to go like a, a pixel or two right below that, that center line, and you can't do it because the app is intelligently snapping it to the center of the grid. And in some instances, that might be annoying, it might be pesky, so it's no problem. You can actually go open up the settings and preferences and I can turn that off. I can turn snap to grid off and now I can move the uh, text around freely without worrying about it being snapped to any center point of the grid. And finally, the last tip uh, is how to change the color of the artboard. And this is totally just a cosmetic preference. Some people might want a different color of the artboard. Uh, within the app, you, it's defaulted to the slate. It's a dark gray. But if you want a different color, maybe you, uh, maybe you just want a solid black in the artboard. Again, you open up the settings and preferences. And I can actually choose the artboard background color right here and then. So I can turn it black if I wanted. And I can close that. Now you see the artboard is black. And that might help folks uh, visually. Um, again, by the same token, if I wanted a, a crazy color, maybe just help me out creatively, I can choose, say, a magenta, and you'll notice our board is magenta. I don't like that. Some of you may, uh, but just having the option to change the artboard color could be really useful. So thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you found some of this useful. We appreciate you using Design Lab, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.